EQing is one of the biggest number games in audio engineering. And the objective to the game is to leave as many of those numbers alone as possible. Let me break it down for you. Think of the audio spectrum as a pie, a very healthy pie. And in this pie are the four basic food groups of sound. Lows, low mids, high mids, and high. That's basically bass, treble, and everything in between. And EQ allows us to boost, which is to increase, or cut, which is to decrease, the volume to a select group of frequencies. The size of that group of frequencies is determined by the bandwidth. Bandwidth is simply the number of frequencies there are between the highest and lowest numbers at hand. Think of bandwidth as a slice of that pump. The larger the slice, the larger the bandwidth. And the larger the bandwidth, the more numbers there are involved, which has more effect on what you hear. You know, all the talk about food's making me kind of hungry. Let's be lunch. Ooh, crab services was early. Early bird gets the worm. Say, I got it. I'm going to use my lunch to help further explain to you the wonderful world of EQ. Let's imagine that this pizza pie represents the entire audio spectrum. Now let's further imagine that the pepperonis are the frequencies and the bandwidths are the slices. For starters, I'm going to cut this pizza right down the middle. Now the whole spectrum has two rather large bandwidths, lows and highs, which also represents a two-band EQ. This is better than absolutely nothing, but the big problem here is, whenever you use either half of this pie, the changes are pretty drastic. Remember, we're dealing with volume here. So, if the volume to all of the lows and low mids are greatly reduced, then this is all that's left. That's because the high band contains more frequencies than the low band. Hey, Next we'll man. Thanks, bro. Dude. Next we'll do a three band EQ, or three equal slices. This pie has lows, mids, and highs. This third slice offers more versatility because it has narrowed the other two bandwidths. Dude. Next would be a four band EQ. This is even better yet because this fourth slice narrows the bandwidth even more and offers us control over the four food groups of sound lows, low mids, high mids, and high. And this helps our objective immensely. These basic EQs are all pretty cool, but still limited. Those are all fixed frequencies and bandwidth, so all you can do is turn them up or down. Unfortunately, you're unable to select the center frequencies. 